hi, everybody. First of all, I'd like to thank Dave and Alyssa and the Long Island Radio Group for inviting me to, here to speak today. Six years ago, I heard the three worst words, you have cancer. I'm happy to say that I am cancer-free today thanks to early detection. I was one of the fortunate ones. I knew I was high risk and I had the BRAC test, which even confirmed how high risk I was. The good thing about it was I had a mammographer that worked with me who's been my mammographer for many years. And the one thing he told me was the type of MRI and the type of mammographies that I need to feel safe. It was thanks to him that I did find cancer early in time and I could be aggressive and treat it. Unfortunately, those three words become all too common. However, I was able to use my fight against cancer to develop a product to help me, as well as other women, cope with the mental anguish of this disease. The product is the Huggygram. My friend Dennis is going to show you, so you know what it is. <laughs> okay, that product is the Huggygram. It's fun, uplifting set of soft, plush, sewn arms that you can wrap around yourself and simulate a hug. The Huggygram is enhanced with your 10 second voice message. The true power of the Huggygram is when you open the box and feel that love and emotion of the sender that comes shining through. <laughs> when I had cancer, I found the most important medicine given to me were the simple hugs of my family and friends, and in particular, those of my husband. As we all know, cancer is not a one, two, three cure. So for the times my husband couldn't be with me, I made that hug. <laughs> so it would feel like he was there. I didn't dare tell him. One day, I put on the Huggygram, and I noticed there was a little speaker with a round button. And of course, being <laughs> curious, <laughs> I pushed the button, and out came my husband's voice that said, I love you, you're the best, and the hug is a great idea. Awareness Month, we would like women to hear, don't bury your head in the sand, get a mammogram. <laughs> that moment was so special, it sent goosebumps up and down my spine, and I wanted to quickly bottle that feeling and share it with others who are in the same boat as I. And that was how Huggy Graham started. I know the value of mammographies, just as most of you do here today. However, it really breaks my heart when I hear my friends mention, I don't have time, it's not convenient, I've got other things to do, no one's watching my kids, who's gonna make dinner for the family, and all of those excuses. Too often, this is a subject that women just don't discuss. They find it taboo. And these are the women that the message gets lost on. It's the women we really need to concentrate on. One of the things the Huggy Graham can do is break down that wall. It can start your conversation with your friends. And it should carry the message, especially this month, but we will be carrying it for many, is don't bury your head in the sand and get a mammogram. We want to work with all your organizations to get the word out and save lives and utilize the Huggy Graham as a fundraising tool. We have many programs in place and we'd love to discuss them with you. Just feel free to contact me at Huggygram. And most importantly, and lastly, our goal at Huggygram is to keep Long Island dollars on Long Island. We feel it's badly needed, we have a very high risk here, and my company feels that it is so important to do that, and that's why we're here today. Lastly, I just wanna thank you very much for inviting me to speak, and enjoy the rest of your day.